Shalom, who praises the Yahweh, Bashem, El Shaq, Bashem, Al Rakak, with us. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Milson, who well. Shalom to the whole four elect. This is news and prophecy, prophecy and news coming back at you once again. Uh, where the news uh, is filled with the scriptures, pursuing to um, the book of Matthew, or the Gospels, where it's mentioned a few times. Where it says, watch as well as pray, because we being prophets of Yahweh, Barsham, El Shah, Barsham, Haraka, Gwadash, are watching via um, news platforms to see if prophecies come to play, um, to pass. So, um, as um, Ezra was told, measure the, measure thou the time diligently, the measuring stick is the words of the, the prophecies of the Bible and um, we measure that against the events seen in the world and through that we determine that judgment we've come up to is that this is the end okay the end of the end there ain't too much time left in Babylon right this shit is circling the drain we're about, about to be out of here at any moment right Lord said hasten a day and he said I come, if qu- I come quickly man so we're in that time, all right? So anyway, I want to get into this article on the BBC, um, which basically is dealing with the UK, and it's like coronavirus, England and Wales, contact tracing app gets launch date, all right? So they, what they happened before, they had a, a previous app that basically they said they spunked or wasted, I believe it was seven, not seven, I believe it was eleven million pounds on that attempt to make an app, track and trace an app. And that to sounds to me like money laundering. Okay. So <sighs> shit. So basically, um they're launching a new app. Okay, so it says a new COVID nineteen contact tracing app will be launched across England and Wales on twenty on twenty fourth of September, and I would like to look, I'll probably look into that that date at another time. There may be some connotations to it. The government has announced the app will let people scan barcode like QR codes, and it's funny because on Instagram I noticed that my profile has a QR code. It just popped up recently. To register visits to hospitality venues and will implement Apple and Google's method to, of detecting other smartphones. So I believe even with Instagram, as you know, you had in the UK we had a thing known as Eat Out to Help Out, which basically what the government had was an incentive, whereby from Monday to Wednesday you could go into certain restaurants that were aligned with the scheme, and you get fifty percent off for anything that costs ten pounds under £10 basically which really equates to £20 because you you know spending 10 50% off is £20 basically um, if you spend 10 that means you've, you've got 50% off from £20 so I, f- I believe that QR code that's on the Instagram doing the maths is probably there because a lot of people like to do up lifestyle you know they like to um at um the restaurant or put the location of the restaurant and and possibly this comes up with the QR codes and shares something to that effect but I don't know. I'm just guessing. Alright. Businesses are being asked to display QR code posters to support the app. Health secretary and them them businesses got reeled in because they just had a they just made loads of money through the government incentive. So they're basically being bought. Okay. Health Secretary Matt Hancock described the launch as a defining moment. The first version of the NHS contact tracing app intended for the whole UK was trialed on the Isle of Wight in May but later abandoned. And I remember there's even a girl that I know Oh man, <laughs> and she said, um, 
basically someone she knows in the island on the island said that martial law is basically implemented in the Isle of Wight. So that lets you know everything, right? That, you know, in these different regions and places, they basically do different test runs. Because she, she was saying that her friend was basically told that she had to go home. Military boots was on the ground. It was a whole different dynamic in the Isle of Wight, all right? So the fact that they later abandoned it, obviously it was a trial to see how it would run, all right? The launch of the app, sorry, we need to use every tool at our disposal to control and sp- to control the spread of the corona, of the virus, including cutting edge technology, said Matt Hancock, all right? So he said the launch of the app later this month across England and Wales is a defining moment and will aid our ability to contain the virus at a critical time. According to the latest figures published by the Office of National Statistics, there were an estimated 3,200 new cases a day in England during the first week of September. All right. So when they first used it, so... No, they're saying there's basically a big spike, all right? Uh, uh, all right you. The weather we've had in the UK is, is basically, it's at its turning point. It's going from evidently being summer to back to England as we know it. Wet, windy, and gloomy, all right? So the change in weather is going to definitely cause more symptoms to arise in people. Some hospitality venues have been already been using their own QR code based systems for the test and trace, but are now being asked to switch to the NHS version instead. All right, so now they're, they're basically forming a what a ubiquitous form of technology, all right, of, gather, of data gathering to have it all centralized in one place underneath the, the banner of the NHS that everyone was clapping for on a Thursday at 8 o'clock. Universities, hospitals, leisure premises, um, civic centres and libraries are being asked to display posters in communal areas such as cafes where people gather for longer than 15 minutes. An alternative system such as handwritten register must also be maintained for visitors who do not have smartphones. Right, The Department of Health and Social Care said... So it says Welsh Health and Social Services Minister Vaughan uh, Geefin said launching a joint app with England was the most practical option. All right. So it says he added that the move reflects movement across the shared border. It makes sense to use the same app working in exactly the same way, regardless of which country you're in. It was it has had a long and troubled red uh, j- just gestation um, but the team buying the NHS COVID-19 app are hoping that they've finally got the, it right at a time when it can make a significant contribution to limiting the spread of the virus All right, back in April the app seemed to be a key weapon in the government's armoury but since Baroness Dido Hardin took over the test and trace programme it's been uh, re relegated to the cherry on the cake all right. Around the world, there are still doubts amongst those working on contact tracing apps as just how good Bluetooth is as a way of measuring the distance of the people. Bang, 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 bang. All right, I'm getting a bit excited. The fact that they question the validity of the app, but it's still implementing it, lets you know that this is one level. This is This is stage one let's say stage one of track and trace technology that's what they're letting you know so i'm going to read this again it says around the world there are still doubts amongst those working on contact tracing apps about just how good bluetooth is as a way of measuring the distance between the people entering 5g technology all right now you had a big thing going on with everyone causing the uproar saying 5g is making people sick it ain't coronavirus, it's 5G technology, etc, etc. 
Me, I don't, I don't know about all of that. But what I will say is that in terms of 5G technology, the one thing I definitely know where it has its uses in is the, the speed in which information is downloaded from mass in a, in a localized area. So basically, say if you got, um, you know, RFID, um, NFC, SIM cards, or, or any form of contactless technology, Basically, through 5G, instead of taking about three and a half minutes or four minutes to download the information, it now takes 30 seconds, okay? So basically, it up the, speeds up the process in relaying information. And they're saying they're already working on 6G. And I don't know what the speed capability will be for 6G, but 5G is 30 seconds. So it's not real time, but it's close enough to real... It's not close enough... But it's it's better than 5G, basically. I mean, 4G, sorry. So, basically, what you got is they're laying the groundwork to say that this isn't the best form of track and trace technology. Even they said if someone don't have a smartphone, they're going to have to write down their name. But then what will be an inexpensive way to track the people? Enter the RFID chip, all right? The mark of the beast, okay? But the fact that uh, pubs, restaurants, and other hospitality businesses are now being told they 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 have to do a better job on logging. See, of logging contact details of visitors presents an opportunity. I ain't even ready. I'm going in the spirit on this one, man. That's why I, <laughs> I suddenly got life in my voice, man. Because this this, I mean, if if the spirit of the Lord dealing with you, you you'll see all these things. Because it they, they, it tells you in um in the gospel man it says that um that um I can't remember the first part I said it could de if he could if he could deceive the very elect something to that effect I can't remember off the top of my head right at this moment but that's that's the energy they're coming with this is what the plans of the elites is they're right they're trying to you know deceive everyone but it's an opportunity for them all right. They may now see having QR codes for visitors as a simple way of complying with the rules and that could encourage the take up of the app. There has been some confusion about whether businesses will be complying with the rules on collecting customer data if they relay, relay, or rely on the app. Sorry, But if I've been told that they uh, will be, be complained even though the nature of the app means non, none of the data will be visible either, to them or the authorities or to the authorities scotland recently experienced experienced um all of their data being um stolen man all right so it don't matter that that is definitely going to be a put uh because let's not forget that cyber warfare has been happening a lot they've been saying uh, the most recent one i can remember of spy i can't remember the name of it but it was a recent cyber attack, okay? So that's a big thing right now, um, cyber warfare, right? So it's not as safe as they're trying to make it out to be. This is just the, the perfect mixture for disaster that just all leads to the chip, all roads lead to the chip, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the, which is the mark of the beast, which will then be followed by World War Three. all right? Scotland launched its own app on Thursday that has already been downloaded 600,000 600, times. To protect Scotland, the Scotland app um, informs people if they have been too in close contact with someone who later tests positive. Northern Ireland has was the first part of the UK to launch a, a contact tracing app. Stop COVID and I um, was officially launched at the end of July. In England, from Monday, social gatherings will be limited to up to six people in a measure dubbed the Rule of Six, which just sounds so bloody demon dem dem demonic, man. That sounds like a, a prelude to the Mark of the Beast, which is 666, all right? The Rule of Six maybe being the first of three, um, three um, steps of a rollout for the RFID chip, man. You never know because with these things, they they know what they're doing. The fact that people will be saying the rule of six, 
is like casting a spell, all right? It's priming the minds of the people towards something, all right? And I'm, I'm, I'd like to even, I, in my personal opinion, I believe it is a spell, man, all right? Because these words, they don't put them out there for no, in vain, basically. It has been criticised by some conservative MPs who have said it should be subjected to more par, par, parliamentary scrutiny, scrutiny, all right? Scotland and Wales, which along with Northern Ireland have been, have uh, devolved powers to, to set their own coronavirus restrictions, also reduced the size of social gatherings to six people from Monday. So even, look, even they're doing it, man. England's doing it. They're in Scot So basically this whole island, or collections of island, collection of islands, known as the United Kingdom and Ireland, funny enough, are going to be operating under the rule of the, rule of the six, which is a, a, a very demonic uh, vibration. They're conjuring this up. Hey, even... I talk to certain niggas I know from in the world, man, or former friends, so to speak, or I'm, I'm in some form of contact with them, Months ago, I spoke to one of them and they were telling me about meditating. So I was watching one, um, um, what's it called? These are the friends of Mammon, so I'd like to call them really. Um, but, um, the other one was, um, I watched this podcast, it's an English podcast, um, or UK one, um, Chucky Online. And he was saying, oh, I meditated for the first time. And I think, and I know for a fact, the fact that Jake is doing that, man, everyone's feeding into like a, a, a cut and dry uniform for type of mindset, but they don't realise what they're doing when they're doing things like meditating. They're basically putting faith and energy into this, into this, the, the image of the beast, okay? Just think of American gods. What was, what was, it that gave those um, idols power, um, worship, belief in them, right? Doing, um, what's that word called? Um, doing, um, what's the fucking word, man? Um, doing, um, it's a word for it, man. Doing, 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 basically doing acts of faith towards that idol, all right? Gave them power. In Scotland, children under the age of 12 will not count towards the total. And in Wales, the rule will not apply to children under 11. And up to 30 people can still meet outside. So wait, hold on, what's the age difference? So you're telling me you step over a border, all of a sudden, you, the age, a year don't matter, all right? You're more susceptible. Now you can catch coronavirus. The moment I turn, the child turns... Um, is 10 going like at mid midnight so called stri strikes according to their time and they become 11 and bang you know they're susceptible to coronavirus man the new measures followed and sustained rise in coronavirus cases with over 2000 positive cases recorded across the UK on five consecutive days all right man um I ain't even going to go into no scriptures you know what the scriptures are you should know um I mentioned the mark of the beast. This is all building around the image of the beast, though, man. This is where all these things were in the image of the beast. This is the image of the beast being fleshed out and not only providing a way for the mark of the beast to, to, to come in. So um, with that, man, I'm